approximately 1.5 million refugees from Ukraine in Europe are children. As the war continues, the question remains will integrated Ukrainians return to help rebuild or stay abroad for greater opportunities? Looking out to sea on a winter evening, Anna resembles the millions of Ukrainians who have left their country in search of safety for themselves and their children due to the ongoing Russian occupation. In spring of 2022, Anna brought her two daughters from the capital Kiev to a seaside town on south coast of Wales. My little one is absorbing everything. Speaks fluent English and sings in Welsh, Anna told Euronews. My oldest son has no motivation to study here. When will I take the exams in Ukraine? What do I need to learn here? But how do you know whether you will come back or not? According to a recent report by Eurostats, the number of beneficiaries of temporary protection in the EU from Ukraine has increased in all member states except Denmark. Almost half of the beneficiaries are adult women, or 46.4, while a third are children. Almost two years after Russia's full-scale invasion Ukraine, Anna is forced to face the decision of returning home where she faces possible danger, or the possibility her children losing their home culture. Millions of children and their parents or guardians will face same choice as they decide whether return Ukraine rebuild after the war is over or stay gain more opportunities in EU. Anna is one millions of Ukrainian parents who must decide between letting their children lose control their home culture or waiting for the war to end to return home. Daniel Harper A Ukrainian education that maintains ties with home only half of Ukrainian refugee. Children are enrolled schools in host countries for the 20,222,023 academic year. According a report by UNHCR, citing parents' hesitancy to enroll their children host countries as they hope as some of the main reasons for this. Uncertainty about returning home soon as well as reintegration into the Ukrainian education system. Instead, many parents choose either send their children back to Ukraine for number of days allowed by the host countries or receive a second Ukrainian education alongside host countries' schools. Each of these brings significant challenges. Many of our students study two school programs at the same time German and Ukrainian. In fact, they carry a double load. Oksana, a Ukrainian teacher living in Saxony, told Euronews, We can predict that longer the war lasts. More families and children will decide to build their new lives in new countries. But this does not mean that they will lose their national identity or move away from Ukraine. One way to deal with this is distance learning. Optima is Ukraine's largest distance school with more than 15,000 students in Ukraine and Europe. The We Are Ukrainians package, which prioritizes Ukrainian language, culture and literature, was specially designed for children studying abroad. Other parents desed.